Welcome to the Mad About Toys podcast. I'm excited it's March and I'm excited that toy shows are back. Got a notification on Instagram this week that there was a toy show in my area uh, in Mississauga, Ontario, about an hour away from where I live. And uh, uh, again, uh, it's called Awesome Toy Show. Here it is. If you live in the area, check out their social medias. But it was fantastic. First 50 people, we're going to get a Batman bag swag. So let's see what's in that. We're going to check it out. Here it is. I was one of the, I had nothing going on. So it was one of the first 50 people in line. So cool bag. Nothing on the back. Let's open it up and check it out and see what's in there. You know what this is, a t-shirt. All right, look at that. Looking awesome. Just a black Batman shirt. Oh, it has Warner Brothers here in the very bottom. Look at that. Awesome shirt. Size, large. <laughs> Those uh, My large days are behind me, long behind me. We'll see if uh, we can give that to somebody that will... Uh, be able to fit in there and enjoy that all right got a poster here let's oh man this is awesome check this guy out again all free first 50 people the toy show dot ca thank you so much awesome stuff i'm gonna frame that for sure let's see what else is in here and some more prints wow very cool print number one here. Awesome. Print number two. Look at that. Thank you. Awesome toy show. Mississauga, Ontario, for all you Canadians living in the GTA. Look out for them for their next show. That is so cool. So the show was small. Um, but it was great. It was free to get in. Um, had some, got some cool stuff here. We'll uh, show it off. We'll unbox it quickly. Not do a regular review. Just unbox. A lot of stuff is old. Um, but that's what you get at toy shows. Some of the stuff that you missed. Maybe you weren't a toy collector at that time, or you're collecting different things. So it's great to go uh, start going to these toy shows again. Um, they usually run from. Uh, March, April, all the way through to the summer till September here in Canada, kicking off or ending with the Fan Expo in Toronto, uh, the big one. So what did I get? So first, let's start off with uh, I, I wanted a John Cena unmasked head for my Peacemaker. So he has tons of wrestling figures. So I was just going to try to pick one up. I know there's lots of different head sculpts, so I wasn't sure if they're going to fit. So we're going to check that out. We'll see if he fits. For my peacemaker so we got john cena here john cena from uh, wwe elites uh, number 60. Um, not a huge wrestling fan i was when i was a kid um, but i'm starting to pick up a little bit of their figures for my collection so the second thing i picked up here was a loose hulk hogan i was uh, i was a hulkamaniac as a kid and so I need a Hulk Hogan in my collection, and there he is. That'll do. They're not going to end up uh, with my toy photography, but uh, it's nice to have them just sitting on the shelf. So, so happy to get Hulk Hogan. And then uh, did one. It's very small. It was almost like a, uh, uh, a storage, these big storage units, and there was maybe six, seven dealers, and you just kind of walked around in a U. So we, we got through it pretty quickly. I, I did a, a second uh, pass by and underneath uh, one of the vendors tables, I seen uh, Joker uh, from Mayfex here. Um, I think it's a pretty old figure. Not sure the year. Let's see here, 2015. So reasonably old, but it's a Joker figure. I got a huge Joker collection. So I'm gonna unbox that one. But he said what sold me was that he, he said he'd give me this one. And he'd give me this one for 70 bucks. So I grabbed both of them for 70 bucks. I thought it was a good deal. I have an SH Figure Arts Catwoman. 
Selena Kyle that I'm very happy with. And I don't take a lot of pictures with her. I do use a, a DC Direct one as well for pictures. So I think I'll just keep that one in the box. I won't unbox that one. But I'm going to unbox the Joker. So let's do that. And I think that's pretty much it that I got at the Awesome Toy Show. Again, thank you so much for the free Batman swag bag. That The stuff in there is awesome. The print's awesome. I'm going to definitely put those in, in a frame and put those on my wall here somewhere. We'll figure it out. Uh, lack of room, that's for sure. But And then there's, there's lots of toy stores in the area. So I hit up Gotham um, Comics, I, I believe it's called, in Mississauga. And uh, unbelievable amount of inventory i don't think i've ever seen any other comic book store or a toy store that has that kind of inventory if you haven't seen that store and you live around the area or within the gta check that store out it's just just to walk through it is incredible but i happen to find something i've really wanted for a long time it's uh from 2021 so i wouldn't say a long long time but it's uh NECA's homelander so if you don't watch the boys and you are a fan of superhero shows or superheroes in general check out the boys it is an absolutely incredible show awesome characters this guy plays uh, almost like an evil superman so i'm going to unbox this guy i'm not going to do a full review on him because he is a little bit uh, older um, people have reviewed him probably in the summer of uh, 2021 lots of reviews you can find out there so i'll just unbox it and you'll get my first impressions of it so without further ado let's open some of these guys up and then we'll start with uh, john cena and see if i can get get that head on my peacemaker for some awesome photography that i got in mind if you haven't watched the peacemaker show highly recommend that it is unbelievable it's wild funny lots of action it's crazy it's i can't say enough it's absolutely insane so check it out if you're a fan of dc superhero stuff i'm sure you'll like that show so we'll be back in a minute to unbox some of the stuff all right let's start off with opening up uh john cena here and like i said i got it only for the unmasked head to put on peacemaker here I didn't want to buy, there's an unmasked version, but I didn't want to buy the exact same version just to get the head of John Cena. There's lots of wrestling figures out there. So I found one today at the Awesome Toy Show. Again, awesome show. Small show just started in Mississauga, Ontario. So follow them if you're from the area. And check them out for their next show. Looking forward to their next show. And... Um, so, I think I got some pretty good deals here. Um, this one here, I'm going to show I got for 20 bucks. It's going for a little bit higher than that on eBay. So, I think I did all right. Um, but the thing is, does the hat come off his head? I can't have the John Cena on Peacemaker if that hat is on his head. The guy that I bought it from didn't think that came off. I think it does. I'm sure you guys that are watching that are elite fans know whether or not this comes off. So let's open it up and take a look and see if it comes off. Oh, something went flying there. Not sure what that was. Oh, a cool base. So we'll check that out. Get John Cena out here. Stuff's flying out all over the place. There he is, John Cena. Looking all right. And the moment of truth. Does the hat come off? It does. There it is. Very cool little hat. But that's what I wanted was a John Cena head without the helmet for my Peacemaker. So I'm pretty familiar with taking both of these kind of heads off. I think I'm going to have to use a blow dryer. They're not like Marvel Legends where you can just pop them off. So I'm going to do that. Come back. Let's see size-wise. He's substantially smaller. So will that head fit? Uh, he looks like he's got a big head. So hopefully it won't look funny. 
Let's do that. Let's get the blow dryer out, hit them up, take the heads off, and see if it works. All right. We had to use the blow dryer, but we got both the heads off. Unmasked. Peacemaker, a.k.a. John Cena. And Peacemaker with his helmet on. So, the Peacemaker show... I absolutely loved it. I loved Peacemaker and Suicide Squad. I was not a John Cena WWE fan. He was, after I was watching it, I watched uh, wrestling two times in my life. The uh, Hulk Hogan era and the Stone Cold era. Uh, the Attitude era, I guess. So two times in my life. But uh, John Cena was not one of them. So I knew him... Uh, more for some of his movies, but can't say he ever, like, grabbed my attention. I was like, yeah, that's a big fan of John Cena until Peacemaker. Now I'm a huge fan. Um, kind of like I, I, I relate him to Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool in terms of his Peacemaker role. I believe he was just kind of made for this role, and I think he's going to really succeed in it. I could be wrong, but uh, judging by the Suicide Squad and, and the first season of his show on HBO. I think he's going to be a, a big success. So we got the uh, Peacemaker head. Anytime you pull out a McFarlane, the ball joint stays in there. So it's not like Marvel Legends where they're easy to pull off. You have to take it out with the head joint. And I find the Mattel figures also equally uh, as hard to take out. You have to use a blow dryer, but the peg doesn't come out. They have a hole like this. So I'm left with John Cena with his peg in his neck. And I'm left with Peacemaker with no peg. So, moment of truth. The reason I bought the John Cena was to hopefully have an unmasked Peacemaker. So it's a completely different skin tone here, as you can tell. But will the neck be a little covered? Will we be able to tell? Moment of truth. Here it is. How does it look? Let's see if, oh, look at that. Very happy. There he is. John Cena. Unmasked Peacemaker. That will work for me. For what I need it for. Take a few photos. There's a lot of potential for McFarlane to make some Peacemaker action figures. Including one in his underwear. In his tidy whities Please, McFarlane, make that figure. Funko's doing it. Let's see McFarlane do it. Come on. Let's do it, McFarlane. Make John Cena Peacemaker action figure in his underwear. His hair is not long like it is in uh, Peacemaker. But again, we're splitting hairs there. Pun intended. Very sad. It's, oh, there it goes. So it doesn't have a peg. I could, I suppose, pull the peg out, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to rest the head on there when I want to take some pictures. And, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Worked out perfectly. Let's move on. Let's open up uh, the Joker. All right. Peacemaker, a success. So hit up my Instagram account. You will see some unmasked recreation of the Peacemaker TV show. Looking forward to that. Up next, let's take a look at the Joker from Mayfax. Can't get that light there, so let's crack this open. Got a pretty good deal on this one. And Catwoman, like I said, I'll probably not open Catwoman as I have an SH Figure Arts one that I like. And they look pretty similar. If somebody has both of them and thinks the Mayfax one is substantially better, and I should open it, let me know, and I will do that. But to me, they look similar. So, got looks like a stand in the back here. Joker. All right, we got the plastic cover off, and everything is falling out here. Unlike NECA, Mayfex, I guess, doesn't strap anything in. Everything's falling out. And take it all out and we'll come back. 
All right, we got the Joker out of the package, and this head sculpt looks all right. The other one, not so much, but it is from 2015, so I'm sure technology has improved quite a bit with these figures. I don't know that they've remade another Heath Ledger Joker since this one, but maybe they have. I don't have a, a I only have one other Mayfax Joker, and that's the Jared Leto one. Uh, I'd like to get the bank robber version of this one. Looks really cool. And I believe you could take the jacket off and put those arms on here, making an unjacketed version like in the uh, the jail scene. So uh, just messing with this figure, it's really cool. It's really cool. The only thing that the face is a little lackluster, but overall it's very easy to move around. The joints fall off, but they're easy to pop back on. Tons loaded with accessories. Lots of guns, which they don't come with anymore. So that's cool. The coolest accessory that uh, the Joker comes with is this rocket launcher. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, Deadpool will definitely get his hands on this. Stay tuned. Follow me on Mad About Toys on Instagram, Mad About Toys Podcast. Also hit that subscribe button below. Let's see if we can grow this channel. And lots of hands unmasked, or sorry, uh, fisted hands, trigger hands, hands for the knives, and there's the fisted hand. And my and other head. I highly doubt I'll ever be putting this head on him, though. He's, he's a smaller figure compared to the new DC figures. He's going to be uh, definitely around the six inches. But um, here, let's see if we can grab a McFarlane. So in comparison with McFarlane, there we go. Substantially bigger than McFarlane figure. He's probably about six inches tall. So he's not going to go in with the new... Batman lines, but uh, if you got some older stuff, he's gonna fit in nicely. He'll fit in with nicely with any kind of Marvel Legends and uh, any other six inch figure. So, a lot of fun, especially for the price that I got this guy for. Had I paid like 60 70 dollars for this guy, I'd be very disappointed. But, um, maybe there's an unma uh, another custom head close to Heath Ledger that somebody has made out there. If so, drop me a comment, let me know. I'll definitely be interested in that for a reasonable price, obviously. So let's move on to Homelander. But overall, very happy with this figure. Not going to open the Selena Kyle um, Mayfax one. I'll keep that in the box and probably sell it. Um, as I don't need two that are so similar. Anyways, let's move on to Homelander. This one here is a thumbs up for me. All right, let's finish up with Homelander. From NECA Toys. I'm not sure about this head sculpt either. I think the Mafex one looks a little better. Looking forward to... Uh, I'm going to probably pose them uh, with, with the eyes, the laser eyes. So let's see. I'm just hoping that one looks good. And uh, this one here looks a little better than the one that's on the box. But uh, let's crack them open and, and let's take a closer look here. And there's the back of the box. Some glamour shots and a read-up. And that definitely looks like a different head that's in the box. Like a lot of times on these boxes, they're prototypes and not what the actual figure turns out to be. So I'm just going to crack this open and we'll check them out. We'll wrap this one up. All right, here is Outlander out of the package. Looking all right. The body is, is very cool. I like it. Uh, it feels like a NECA. feels like kind of like a McFarlane. Um, but McFarlane with better quality, I guess. Joints are usually uh, stiff, like all NECA figures. Um, but this head sculpt is the one that comes on it. And I like the alternate one much better. I think it looks a lot more like the actor Anthony Starr. And if you haven't seen him in Banshee, do yourself a favor and watch that immediately.
unbelievable show. Four seasons. If you're a fan of mixed martial arts or fighting in general in uh, film, check out Banshee right away. As soon as you're finished watching this, check out Banshee. Also, if you haven't seen The Boys, check out The Boys. He's awesome in both. So, um, like I said, I, this is the head sculpt that comes on him. But I like the other one substantially better. I think it looks more like Anthony Starr. So I'm going to pop that on there. But the one that I that is the best, and what I'm going to pose it with, and it looks funny like that, but it comes with the lasers. Stick those in there. And pop it on the head. So it comes with uh, little pegs. And let's see how easy this or difficult this is. Hopefully they don't break on me. Seem to go in. I think they went in easy. They don't really feel like they're in there. So we'll put that aside. Pop off Anthony Starr's head, aka Homelander. And huge ball joint there. I don't think I've ever seen an action figure with quite that large of a ball joint. But I haven't taken a lot of NECA heads off, so maybe they're all that big. Let's pop on the laser head and see how it looks. And very cool. Very cool. Very happy with that. I wish they made him an angry face here. He's not a nice guy if you've watched the show. It's kind of like an evil Superman. Um, so they should have made it definitely an angry face. That would have topped this figure off. The Mayfex um, figure is like a growling face and it does look much better. But overall I'm happy with this figure. Um, doesn't bend at all. Oh, there goes the lasers. So that might be problematic. But uh, we shall see. Overall, I like this figure, though. There's the cape. Very cool. I wish it had the pattern on the inside. But double-jointed knees, double-jointed elbows. The detail in the eagle here is also very cool. Gloves comes with also comes with the open hands. And two fists. So you can have your Outlander thrown down. I'm going to look forward to taking some photography with this guy. So thanks for watching my pickups this weekend from the awesome toy show in Mississauga, Ontario. And this one here from Gotham Central, also in Mississauga, Ontario. If you want to see more of my weekly purchases, let me know. I'll be happy to show you. I'm pretty sure I buy enough stuff each week to do one of these videos. And uh, I had fun uh, showing off what I got this weekend. So hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and notification bell, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. And have yourselves a great day. All done the video. Ah!